are so happy to see you. We are so happy you're joining us today. My name is Teacher Lillian. And I'm Teacher Elijah. And we have friends with us today. Yes. Surprise! Yeah. This is Lena. This is Kyla. Alba. Alvana. Katana. Shona. Daniela. Jasmine. Elaine, Nana, Elizabeth, and Kezia. Okay, so Skyla is going to pray for us before we start, right? Yes. Let's help ourselves for our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day after the mass. We thank you that you will guide us through it and that we we'll all learn something new from Harvest Kids and that you protect those watching online and those here. Those that are prayed. Amen. Amen. So before we go through last week's lesson, was here last week? Were you guys here? Were you here last no. Week? no. Were you? <laughs> okay, I'd like to bring greetings from Pastor Line. Hey, our Harvest Kids Pastor. Yes, our Harvest Kids Pastor. And I'd like to bring greetings from Apostle Mose and Pastor Ari. Hey. Those three people love you very, very much. They so pray for you. They think about you. Yes. They plan for you. <laughs> so many things. And you love them too, right? Yeah, we love yes. them. Yes. So, Teacher Elijah. Yes, teacher What did Elijah. we learn last week? Last week, we learned mm -hmm. something about becoming new. new. So, the memory verse was from 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter, chapter 5. five. Verse 17. Can we read it together? Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So we learned that when we are in Christ, everything in us becomes new. new. And then Teacher Lillian, you told us about the life cycle of a butterfly, exactly. how it's first an ugly caterpillar, which uh -huh. no one wants to touch, and then and it turns it's into... And creepy and crawly yeah. and... Yeah. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. And we gave characteristics of things that are ugly, like abusing, mm -hmm. lying, but all that is in the old you. Then you That's told right. us that we are new. And when we become new, we are like the beautiful, beautiful butterfly. butterfly. And the beautiful butterfly is so lovely. It looks nice. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to be near a beautiful butterfly. Exactly. So that's what we learned last week. Thank you, Teacher Elijah. Okay, so right now we are going to get into a time of praise and worship yes. and we are going to dance with so much energy yes i hope you have your dancing shoes we on i hope you're getting some space where you are in the living room invite your friends who are not yet here are you ready yes, yes.
Your power has made me what I am. Forgave my past, gave me purpose. In your strength, I rise. And walk with you who lives in me. I have come to take you as my portion. Much fun. Yeah. Right now, 
Somebody say right now. Right now. We are going to get into a lesson for today. Are you ready? Yes. I hope you guys at home are ready. I hope you have your notebooks and pens and ready to learn. Okay? So, we've been learning about being new, right? Who likes being new? Me! I also like being new. Can you say, Happy New Me? Happy New Me. And tell your neighbor, Happy New You. Happy New You. Uh-huh. So, the new us, or the new you has some things that God has prepared for us. Okay? And we are going to read. I'm going to tell you to child Elijah. We are going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. It says that, But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Did you hear that scripture? Yes. It means that God has prepared many beautiful things for us. Who has a baby brother or a baby sister at home? Hmm? Were you there when they were being born? No. Some of you were. What things did mom and dad prepare? Who would like to tell me? Uh -huh. Lena's parents got lots of clothes lots. for the new baby. My parents got lots of milk powder. Lots of milk powder. Uh huh. My parents, my parents got lots of toys. Lots of toys. Anybody else? One last one. They got a bed and a, and a mattress. A bed and a mattress. Uh huh. They bought many shoes. They bought many, many, many shoes. So your parents prepared for you. I know you weren't there, but they also prepared for you. Did you know they were preparing those things for you? No. No. Do you think your baby sister knew they were preparing the things for them? No. Or your baby brother? No. So just like that, our Heavenly Father. You know we have a Father in Heaven, right? Yes. Our do. Heavenly Father has prepared things for us, many things for us. And the Bible has told us that I has not seen. Just because you don't see those things doesn't mean that you, they are not there. Okay? I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared. Who loves gifts? Me. I love gifts. Me too, I love gifts. Who can see what is in my gift bag over here? Can you see what's no, inside? No. But can Superman see? can see, I think. Yeah, yeah because... Yeah, but, yeah. Okay. You can't see, right? But there's something. There's something that I prepared for you guys. But just because you can't see it, doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. exist. Okay? Yes. So, now that you can't see, hmm? now that we also can't see the things that God has prepared, um, do you think they will help us if we can't see them? Or if we don't know what they are? No. Can the things help you? No, they can't. You have to know what those things are and you have to see what they are. There's a special friend who helps us to know those things and helps us to see those things. I want some guesses. Who is that special friend? Okay, Lena. Jesus. Jesus, uh-huh. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Can we clap for Daniela? And we are, I'm going to read for you the next scripture, verse 10, okay? It says that, but God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. How has God revealed us, uh, to us the things? Through, through his, his spirit. Spirit. Can we say it again? Through his spirit. Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the one that shows us the things that God has prepared for us. Okay? And guess where those things are? They are in our spirits. Did you know that you, you are a spirit? Yes, you are a spirit. 
you have a soul and you live in a body, this body which we you can touch and feel, okay? Yes. But the real you is the spirit and that's where God has put all those things, okay? okay. Yes. But the Holy Spirit is the one that helps us to see them and helps us to know them just like i'm going to show you what is inside what is inside this bag oh. Can, are you I, 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 are you looking forward we are very excited yes later on so i'm acting like the holy spirit who's going to show you later okay so we also know that this is the year of fruitfulness, fruitfulness. can we say together this is the year of fruitfulness, fruitfulness. okay and for you to become fruitful, you need to become friends with the Holy Spirit this entire year. You need to make him your friend. Because remember, you won't be able to see the things that God has prepared. You won't be able to know the things that God has prepared. You won't even be able to know the things that are in your spirit. Okay? In your spirit, some of you have many songs. Hmm? Who likes to sing? In your spirit, some of you have many books that are not yet written. Who likes to read and write? Huh? In your spirit, some of you have sermons that are not yet preached. Some mm -hmm. of you are going to be preachers of the gospel. Who would like My to God. do that in future? Me too. In, in your spirit, some of you have buildings that have not yet been built. Businesses. Uh, design, some of you can, will become designers in the future, but those things are hidden. And you need the Holy Spirit to show you those things. You need, you need to become His friend. Can you give me some more examples of things that might be hidden inside your spirit? Mm -hmm. Becoming a doctor. Becoming a doctor. Becoming a surgeon. Becoming a Sajon, uh huh. Becoming a police, a police woman. Becoming a singer. Becoming a singer. Becoming a lawyer. Becoming a lawyer. Wow, uh huh. Shona. Becoming a dancer. Becoming a dancer. So all those things are still in here, and you need the Holy Spirit to reveal them to you. And in here as well, there's joy, lots of joy, okay? There's lots of peace, there's lots of love, there's lots of, what, 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 tell me guys, Daniela? Harmony, Harmony. uh-huh, Jasmine? Faithfulness. Faithfulness, all those things are inside there, Daniela again? Truthfulness. Truthfulness, all those things are hidden in there. Who do you need to help you see and know those things? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. So who's going to become the Holy Spirit's friend this year? Me! How do we become friends with someone we don't see? How are we going to become his friend? Reading the Bible. Uh -huh. Someone else? Na Nana? Spending more time in prayer. Very, very important. Shona? Giving our life to Christ. Giving our lives to Christ. That's true. And we are going. That's the first step. Thank you, Shona, for reminding us. And we're going to give later on, a bit later, an opportunity to those ones who have not yet given their lives to Christ. One more person. Jasmine. Tell other people about the word of God. Telling other people about the word of God. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the lesson for today. We are new. Hmm? You remember the happy new you? Yes. God has prepared things for us, just like our parents prepare for us and prepare for our little siblings. We have things in our spirit inside us. And who's going to reveal them to us? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The first step, the first step for anyone, Shona reminded us, before, before you become a child of God, you, you actually need to receive him as, to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior for you to experience the things that we've been talking about, right? 
Okay, so if there's anyone out there who has not received Jesus who would like to do that, it's so easy. The Bible says that you believe in your heart and confess with your yeah. mouth that he is Lord and just like that you are born okay. again. So we're going to help our friends. You're going to help me repeat. Okay, so our friends can, can repeat after us as well. Are you ready? Yes. Say, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for dying on the cross on the cross for my sins. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I give you my life. I give you my life. Make it new. Make it new. In Jesus' name I have prayed. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Amen. There's a number running on your screen. If you've just done that, if you've taken the first step, call that number yes. and someone will connect you to a mission or community. Or you can actually talk to your parents to help you connect to a mission or community. One last time, First Corinthians, we're going to read it together. First Corinthians yes. chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written... I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you had fun with us. Yes. You promised you would see what's in the gift bag. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to open this and show you the thing that I had prepared for you. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready, guys? Yes. Yeah. I want to see. Yes. Chocolate. Yes. And we are all going to share after the lesson, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you guys for joining us today. See you next time. Bye. Bye.